So in one day, you had the same blue check legacy media folks sharing not one, not two, but three instances of disinformation. One was to target who they think is responsible for breaking this Hunter Biden story. The second was spreading Iranian disinformation. Iran and Russia were trying to incite civil unrest and our media helped them. That is undeniable. And so now today, here's the latest. We have Emails. This isn't from the laptop, and I really want to underscore this. This latest development doesn't come from the laptop. It comes from the actual business partner of Hunter Biden. Tony Bobulinski. Bobulinski? All of these emails that apparently were given to Mike Emanuel. Emails, actual emails, showing Joe Biden was signing off on foreign deals where he was using his son, Hunter, and his brother, Jim, as these intermediaries to make money off of his influence. There was one of them where they literally texted, quote, don't, it, and it was the, Bobulinski was warned by his business partner, James Gilliar, quote, don't mention Joe being involved. It's only when you are face to face. I know you know that, but they are paranoid, which they geniusly texted. I mean, the emails, which we are going to go over. I've never, this is, it's done. It, this is so unbelievably damning. And then apparently this laptop was also part of a separate munder, money laundering investigation. I mean, this is, it just gets crazier and crazier. It was connected to an FBI money laundering probe. (sighs) Yet we're not allowed to ask questions about this. No, if we, I tried sharing something from this story today and I lost my mind. I was, you know what? And I'm going to tell you something too. I've been very rude on Twitter the past couple of days. And right now I don't feel bad about it. I don't. I don't feel graceful. I don't feel in any way merciful. I do not feel in any way kind. Beca- and I understand. And this is what I think th- half of the country that doesn't understand this feeling needs to under- needs to realize. We have been kicked around for so long. Kicked around for so long. Some of us were set up in an arena with a mob of people screaming, "Burn her!" And it was on tape that the media ignored. We have been smeared, our integrity impugned, all because we dared to question the media watchdog. And the media watchdog has turned into an attack dog that is mauling us instead of standing as this beacon of truth, this informative resource to protect us against tyranny.